officers to each introduce themselves and tell you where they're from. So you can see where everybody's coming from today to, uh, to join with me. I'll start over here with our Grand Marshal. Scott Paulson from Hudson. Don Hensiak from Muskego in Southeast Wisconsin. Army Humphrey from Poplar, Wisconsin, which is near Superior, Wisconsin. Ken Gorgon from Pewaukee, which is just uh, east uh, west of Milwaukee at 20 miles. My name is Paul Twiggle. I live in Hartland, which is just a little bit east of Oconomowoc. I'm Robert Blunt. I live in Kazak, which is about 40 minutes north of Oakwater. Dan Blago, Waterford, Wisconsin, which is about uh, 15 minutes southwest of Milwaukee. Chris Dan, Dan Navier, Wisconsin. And I hail from Sotek, Wisconsin. We came for a long way to, to be with you today, and I'm really glad to be here. Um, Grand Chaplain, will you offer a suitable prayer? Pray to protect the universe. In thy name we pray, and in thy name we proceed in all our doings. We ask for you today guidance. May you support and bless the mentors and boys and girls who have gathered here today and them in the future. May the cornerstone we lay here today be the symbol of virtue and the safe place to dwell in your watchful eye. Great architect of the universe, bless us all and keep us all in your heart, your arms. Amen. Brother Stewart, if you will please uncover the lock. Operative masons have always considered the foundation or cornerstone to be one of the most important stone in the structure. It is the stone upon which the entire structure is supposed to rest. The symbolism of the stone, newly laid, with Masonic rites is full of significance, referring to its form, its situation, its permanence, and its consecration. Right Worshipful Deputy Grand Master, what is the proper jewel of your office? The square. It is the square of virtue. And to prove the square, apply your implement to that office to the portion of the foundation stone that needs to be proved to make and make your report. Most worshipful Grand Master, the stone is square. The craftsmen have done their duty. Right, worshipful senior Grand Warden, what is the proper jewel of your office? <clears throat> the level. It reminds us a uh, is, it reminds us of equality, and its use is to play to lay horizontal. Apply the implement of your office to, to that portion of the foundation stone that needs to be proven and make report. Most worshipful Grand Master, I found the stone to be level. Have right Worshipful Junior Grand Warden, what is the proper jewel of your office? It teaches integrity, and we use it to try perpendiculars. of masonry have tested this cornerstone stone, and I find that the craftsmen have, the craftsmen have performed their duty according to our ancient craft. Let the elements of consecration now be applied. Deputy Grand Master, scatter the corn as the emblem of plenty. May the blessings of virtue and wisdom and gratitude be spread upon this Boys and Girls Club of Door County. Amen. <coughs>
they'll know to be. Sing your grand word. You will pour the wine upon the stone. We pour this wine as an emblem of joy and gladness. May it be a bond of friendship and support for the boys and girls we dedicate this stone to. Amen. So I'm going to do. Brother Junior Grand Warden, you will pour oil upon the stone. the oil is a symbol of peace. May its blessing abide with us continually. And may the Grand Master of Heaven protect and guide the kids and mentors of this Boys and Girls Club of Door County. Amen. So it be. Would the principal officers come forward, thus having, having thus, with the principal officers coming forward, having thus as Grand Master Mason laid the foundation stone of this structure, I now deliver these implements a symbol of the great work ahead for the mentors of the boys and the girls club of Door County. So the students will be recovered along.